Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Geek Uninstaller, a better way to remove programs from Windows. As a matter of fact, I would say to you to never use the ad remove programs under Windows. It's horrible. I've always hated it. It does leave behind files, folders, registry entries, and there are many better ways to do this, and Geek Uninstaller is one free version of it. It comes in a zip file. You double click it. Now, if you have WinRAR PZIP, obviously it's a different extraction, but if you don't, you simply extract all files. It will look to extract it wherever you're running it from. So in my case, I'm on the desktop, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it extract it directly to the desktop. It'll make a folder, so you can close that. And now you're looking inside the folder here. Simply double click it. This is what they call portable apps. There is no install and install. And it will show you everything it is installed. From here, it's actually pretty basic. However, there's always a few extra options. Let's take a look at the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. Now, if I wanted to remove it, I could actually come up here to Action, and you get your choices here. Or you can right click. Now one of the neat things about this, which I actually need to use right now, is I have something uninstalled, but it's still showing up in my uninstall list. So to get rid of it, you can actually just come in here. Let's say you tried you did remove this, but it's still here. You can actually come in here and click on remove entry, and that will remove the entry from there. So even now that it's uninstalled, it's about as best you're gonna get as far as removing it goes. You can for advanced users go into your registry once again I'm not going to play around in here too much this is for advanced users I don't recommend people play around in the registry if you don't know what you're doing if you do you don't need me you can force removal this is nice if you hit uninstall it's just giving you a difficult time and of course even better is the Google for it so let's say you don't know what the program is and you want to look into it it will come up and it will show you what Google finds under exactly what you have. So in this case, obviously you probably know this is an official Windows file, but you can come through here and look and make sure. It's great if you've got something in here you don't recognize. So that's an awesome little utility. Um, aside from that, that, these other options are basic languages sort by uh, size or installed on. That's a nice option there because a lot of times you wanna look and see what you recently installed and pretty much go from there. Now, export to HTML, this is a very, very handy feature as well because if somebody was looking at your computer because of malware or some sort of problem, you could export that to HTML and send it to a tech who could look at it and say, okay, here's a couple programs I don't recognize. Another very handy feature. Geek Uninstaller probably has the advantage of being one of the simplest ones to use out there. There's no extra crap with it. There's no install this, install that. They do, however, offer a pro version and it tells you exactly what you get, including real-time installation, batch removal, which a lot of the other free ones actually do offer. Uh, IOBit uninstaller that I use actually offers the batch removal. I happen to like that a lot. And pretty much startup manager, and that's it. But if you're a fan of the program, we'll take a look here and see how much it costs right now as we're talking. If you're a fan of the program and you use it, sometimes people will be glad to buy it just because you can support the program. So once again, for $25, if you're a fan of the program, it's really kind of hard to beat paying for it. It's just a great little program. It's often overlooked. There's a couple other programs out there that tend to get more attention than this. That's too bad because this is a great little program. Now, if you didn't like it, the beauty of it is here's the file. You can delete the download. And if you didn't want to use it, you want to try something else, you can delete it. Once again, there is no uninstall install to a portable application. You just delete it and it's gone. That's it. It's that easy to use. Check it out. Let us know what you think. The download link is in the comments. Take a second to subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And I hope you see you next time.